Hey folks, Eric from Another Voice with Jason and Eric, brought to you by Fowler's Pharmacy, Greenville's Neighborhood Pharmacy, 1908 Lawrence Road. You can hear us Mondays, 1 to 2 p.m. on Spin FM 103.3 in Greenville, Greer, and Spartanburg, or go to canigetawordin.com, get our podcast there. You can even uh, subscribe to our iTunes podcast channel, Another Voice with Jason and Eric. This election is being stolen. That is uh, being sounded across the uh, country uh, even today. Uh, if I had any indication, if I were to pick anything that tells me this is going to be a close election on the presidential scale uh, and that the parties involved believe that, it's not the polls. I don't trust polls. They go all over the place. Uh, and they change, but this issue, voter fraud, the fact that our friends on the left, our friends on the right, libertarians are all calling that voter fraud is happening, this election is going to be stolen by the other party, whoever that other party may be, indicates to me that I may be right that this is going to be a close election because it seems like everybody's getting their cases ready so that when their candidate loses, they can scream Voter fraud. Um, and it's all over the place. It's on all sides. You know, our friends, some of our friends on the left, some groups, uh, there are reports that because of voter fo voter photo ID laws, uh, the reshortening of uh, early, early uh, voting, uh, changes in student voting, that there's a concerted effort by conservatives to stop non-conservatives uh, from voting and that they are afraid that there's going to be bigger suppression issues and fraud issues and so they've supposedly uh, requested UN observers um, I don't know if those reports are true or not I'm looking into that um, and you have your friends on the, the, the right who are saying you know we've got we've got to stop these folks from doing their voter fraud and their point to this issue or that issue of uh, uh, certain situations where voter fraud may have occurred and so our friends on the right are saying voter fraud. Uh, libertarians, the voting machines are rigged. And they point to this mistake or that example. And across the board, it's voter fraud. Now, <clears throat> I've worked uh, as a poll worker and clerk in the Greenville County voting uh, for nearly 10 years. Now, I want to make one thing clear before I go any further on this, on this, this video cast. <coughs> Excuse me. Any allegation of fraud, voter fraud, voter machine fraud, hanky panky at the office, at the at the uh, voting office, any allegation of fraud must be thoroughly and honestly investigated. If fraud is actually determined to have happened on any level, it should be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law, and any changes we need to do to prevent it from happening in the future need to be done. We get that right out at the front. I don't. I don't think voter fraud is a, is a something to play with. Now, uh, a couple things. First, not everything is voter fraud. Sometimes uh, there are some people out there that if there's any inconsistency, if there's any mistake, if there's any errors, that must mean it's voter fraud. Sorry, it doesn't. We are human. <coughs> the entire system, no matter, and it, it's always been this way, is run by humans. Humans make mistakes. I have friends, uh, libertarian and otherwise, who say, oh, this electronic voting, uh, it, it's rife with fraud, and it was better in the old days. Well, I want them to go back to the old days when boxes of ballots were left in empty lots so no one could find them, uh, where uh, paper ballots were st stuffed in the box by humans. Voter fraud has been with us ever since humans have voted. That doesn't mean we dismiss it. As I said, we need to prosecute it. But not everything's fraud. If someone mm. forgot something, they were working at, at a polling place, and they forgot to bring some information back, and they go back and get it, it's not that they're necessarily committing fraud. There is fraud out there, and we need to deal with it. But not everything that happens is fraud. Second thing, there are folks out there who are who are comparing, or they're saying, this big fraud happened here, so I can't trust a single one of these people who are working the polls. That's ridiculous. 
I can talk about Greenville County. I don't know across the country, but in Greenville County, we strive so hard to make sure we have good, clean, solid elections. Now, we're human. We're going to make mistakes. But if there's a mistake in this precinct, don't label us all as being interested in committing fraud or not interested in having good elections. It means there was a problem in that precinct. It means a problem in one of these places. Um, there are some who are upset about the voter photo ID, photo ID law. I've talked before that I think it was unnecessary. I think it was uh, it wasn't it was a solution in search of a problem. And I heard this person who talked about that and was upset about that. And then they found uh, some absentee ballots. Accidentally, the uh, some districts were switched on a, on, a, on a batch of absentee ballots. And they made this big deal about, well, the Republicans are, you know, they're wanting to do this nonsense voter ID law, but when you talk to them about this, it's like, oh, no big deal. Well, let's clear some things up first. That switching of the ballot, the, 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 the districts in those two ballots, most likely was a mistake. But here's the important thing. It happened at your local uh, election commission, your county election commission. They had absolutely nothing to do with the voter photo ID law. As a matter of fact, most, in my opinion, most election commission work people, most poll workers, they didn't care about that. They weren't trying to push that. So let's try not to, to, to take the, the big mouths of our politicians who want to make a point and make it equal to the average American citizen who's out there trying to help voting be right. Uh, and they make a mistake. If your candidate loses, before you scream, fraud, fraud, let's actually take a minute to step back and say two things. One, it may just be because there were more votes the other way. Honest, legitimate votes the other direction. But if you have allegations of fraud, bring them to the right people and address them. And let us look into that. It happens. But let's not assume everything is fraud. We need, and here's the other thing. In the primary, about a week later, I heard someone complaining about problems at the polling place. Um, folks, there's nothing that can be done. I mean, investigating what happened could be done. But if you go to vote... And there's an irregularity uh, when you're punching the machine, when you're in the line, when you're signing, looking your registration, whatever it is, is if there's a regularity going on right there, stop and get the clerk and say, look, this is wrong. Or, hey, what's going on with this? Probably what's going on with this worse at first before I say this is wrong. I push this button and this happens or this person told me this happened. Get to the clerk first. Look. Machines make mistakes. People make mistakes. If there's something wrong, we'll shut a machine down and we'll investigate it. If there's a problem with the clerk or the poll worker or how it's going on, you need to address it and address it right then. If you don't get satisfaction with the clerk, there are numbers at your polling place directly to the county uh, voter registration office. Pick up your phone and call and say, this is what happened. This is what response I got, and I guarantee you, at least in Greenville County, you're going to have a response. Don't wait till the next day. Don't wait till two days later, because number one, if there's an actual problem, fraud or just mistake, and you catch it at 9 o'clock in the morning and say nothing till two days later, that same mistake can may happen the entire day. Let's go into the election thinking the right way but we're going to try to have a good election if you have evidence or allegations of fraud present them but don't assume that simply because your candidate lost that there was fraud and don't assume that because this happened in precinct y in new mexico that the fraud is happening here in greenville county for that matter if you see something happening at a precinct don't assume it's happening at all precincts i remember a few years back there was a primary where a woman came to me to, to our polling place. She brought a friend who had voted at another place. And when they were in line, uh, 
trying to vote, one of the machines had a problem and they shut it down. So there were less machines. And, and someone in line asked, why is that machine not being used? And the poll worker said, well, you Republicans broke it. We know who votes Republican. We know who votes Democrat. Now, first of all, she's not correct on that. Well, we do know because in the primary, you have to pick so you know which belt you're going on. But she was wrong for that. And the woman came to, to our polling place, very upset, her friend. We called the, the elections office. They dealt with it right away. Deal with these issues and don't assume that if it happens in this precinct, it's going to happen in all. We can have an honest election if we all work together to have it that way. Now, Saturday, uh, from 9.30 to 6 p.m., Personal Defense Outfitters is having their grand opening, 12 South Main Street. There's going to be prizes, uh, refreshments, good sales. We're actually having a drawing for a number of items. The grand prize is the uh, Smith & Wesson Bodyguard 380, uh, but there's a lot of other prizes, so I'd love to see you there. Uh, 9.30 to 7 p.m. All right, until the next time, have a great week.